So here we are at the University of Warwick. We're doing a final handover today. I thought I'd show you around um, some of the key features of this uh, solvent salt we've uh, installed for them. So the university approached us for their chemistry building. They wanted to store their good solvent, uh, waste solvent and some corrosives. I'll show you around. So we've got a smart uh, system in operation here to tell the operators if the store is safe to approach or if there's a hazard in progress and they need to keep away. So up above the entry, entry door, we've got a simple traffic light system. The green light means the store is operating safely and it's good to use. The amber light means there's a general fault or a lone worker alarm has been activated and they're not to approach the store. And either red uh, light there indicates there's a fire alarm situation in progress and definitely don't enter the store. So as you approach the store, we've got a clear vision panel. So uh, any operator come to use the store can see immediately through into the store to see if there's a problem without having to open the door. So inside the store, we've got a repeat of the traffic light system that, you, that I showed you on the outside. This means an operator working inside the room can also see if there's a fire alarm that's been detected or if there's a general fault or more hopefully uh, a green light to indicate the store is safe to use. So above each doorway, we've got um, an ATEX rated actuator. This means when the door is open, we turn off the AC system inside, retaining cold air and uh, reducing your running costs. So here we have the inside of the actuated dampers. So in the event of a power failure or if the fire alarm has been detected, we, we automatically seal off the room to retain the fire suppression gas within inside the work area and effectively put out any fire. The fire detection works in this unit by using a double Vesdenox system. So we've got two sampling pipes that run through all the storage areas with a small sampling hole in the pipe work, constantly drawing through air and sniffing for particles of smoke and on a, on a detection we get first knock from one pipeline and then to eliminate false alarms we rely on a second knock as well from the second pipeline. With both systems indicating a fire situation that's when we'll go into alarm state and the fire suppression system will kick in. So the fire is suppressed by injecting a Novec gas through the pipe work that feeds into each room. Each room has its own nozzle and it will dump the four contents of the cylinder within three minutes. That's then held within the room for at least 10 minutes without any leakage. The suppression gas we use is called Novec. It's a special suppression gas that ensures A, a fire is effectively extinguished, but also if someone were to be trapped inside the room for some reason during the release, it's safe, uh, non-toxic gas for them to be exposed to. So the shelf we've gone for here is a, a slide out drawer system. This enables the operator to store multiple small containers all on one level. Instead of having to push your way through the containers at the front and potentially knocking them over and breaking buckles, you can simply pull them out and reach a container at the back. Very simple and effective. So within the main storage area, we need to keep the ambient temperature within a certain range. To do this, we have uh, an automated air conditioning system in our plant room. This feeds a fast flowing air supply at the right temperature throughout the store at high level and the return air is drawn low level back into the AC unit. So in the case of an emergency, an operator can raise the alarm by simply hitting the lone worker alarm like this. This will send a signal to the control panel which will raise an alarm locally and also send a signal back to the site security system so someone can come and investigate. On the wall here as well, we've got the push to purge fan for the waste flammable storage section. So before entering the room, you can simply push the button, the low level fan will operate and ensure there's no flammable vapors inside the room upon entry. Okay, so we're in the flammable storage room. In this case, it's a uh, for collecting waste solvents. So there's quite a high likelihood that the containers stored in this room aren't going to be manufacturer sealed, so we're quite likely to get a, a release uh, over time of vapour from each container. Those vapours are likely to collect um, being denser than air at the bottom of the storage area on the floor level. So we're going to demonstrate here how our forced extraction systems, you can see mounted low level here, can be used to remove flammable vapours from a, from a storeroom quite effectively. So we've got a couple of smoke bombs here, we're going to light them and I'll show you the, uh, the effect of the extract system.
here we are on the outside of the store. You can see our low level extraction duct coming out the unit at low level. In through our inline ATEX rated duct fan, up the ducting and out through our high velocity cowl. When uh, people are extracting from flammable, uh, flammable storage units like this, is that they just kick the vapor out straight into the area behind the store. Now in this case, we've got a, a generator already existing on the site here. We've got our AC unit right next to the store. So it's important that the vapors aren't just kicked out to this area here where there might be hazards such as these or drainage areas, but instead are taken up to a high velocity cowl, dispersed into the atmosphere safely. So here we have the corrosive storage room. And again, we have a purge fan button you can push here to get rid of any vapors before you enter. Just to show you around, this room's a little bit different. In this room, we're storing more aggressive corrosive chemicals that can attack steel and attack, attack paintwork. So we have a, a poly GRP deck that's chemically resistant. We also have underneath a custom made poly spill tray designed for more aggressive corrosives. Within this corrosive storage room, we've got a segregated wall to divide our acids from our alkali storage. This is important so you don't have a spillage of one mixing with a spillage of another and potentially getting an adverse reaction. Each bun tray uh, comes with its own test certificate, uh, which you can see at a quick glance here. You can also scan the QR code. That'll take you straight to the cert on our uh, online cloud-based system, our Chemply system, where you can also check the latest uh, information on each bun test. We also have frost protection in this room. Uh, it's a segregated area from the main AC system. So we've, we've installed a low-level uh, heater. In this case, it's ATEX Zone 1 compatible. We've also got, a, on the wall, we've got a, an adjustable thermostat that can simply be um, turned up, turned down to ensure the product in this temperature never drops below freezing.